Welcome back to Movies Delivered. When you're here, you're family. In this episode, we'll follow a woman who conditions locusts to eat human blood, and then wonders why they kill everyone, in The Swarm, released in 2020. In the countryside, a woman named Virginie, which is a French name that, funny enough, can be translated as pure, has been busy with her newest entrepreneurial adventure. She is trying to make a living breeding locusts and then selling them to people as food. Each night, she monitors them. When they are big enough, she dries them out in the oven, dehydrating them for packaging. Unfortunately, her colonies are not growing fast enough. The locusts also appear to be dying off. She has two kids, a boy named Gaston and a girl named Laura. Virginie has recruited her daughter Laura to help her manage the locust colony. Because growing, harvesting, and selling locusts is not normal in this area, and it's seen as weird to the other kids at school, Laura is frequently picked on. The mom takes a lot of pride in her job and is really depending on it to work. The family lives off-grid in the countryside, relying on solar panels to generate energy to power their house. They frequently eat inexpensive meals, like pasta, and spend time working around the farm. Things are starting to break down around the house. Their power cuts off from time to time, their water is often cold, and the place is filthy. You can see, Virginie is a single mother who is just barely keeping things afloat. Virginie's husband used to raise and sell goats to sustain the family, but since his death, the family has been having a difficult time getting by. Because the current locust colony is too small, both in number and in physical size, Virginie is unable to sell to larger vendors who are expecting much more product. For now, she has to continue selling at a discount in local stores in the hopes of gaining new customers. Gaston has been experimenting with the locusts in his room. Over time, they have completely eaten a wart off his finger, which, in itself, could be a possible way to make money for the family. Unfortunately, Virginie is not a great business person and doesn't even listen when Gaston tells her. Virginie's money is running out and she's desperate to make this job work so she can provide for her children. Virginie calls her friend Karim to ask for money. Trying to help Virginie with her sales, Karim calls one of his friends, who we'll call the duck guy, and asks him to buy 40 kilos, about 88 pounds, of dried locusts from Virginie. She and the duck guy meet up to exchange his money for her locusts, not a euphemism, but the deal goes south and Virginie destroys the locust protein powder in a fit of rage. Again, she's really not a good business person. Virginie heads back to her locust colony and trashes it, killing many locusts and destroying the nests. She trips over something on the floor and falls to the ground, knocking herself unconscious and cutting herself pretty badly. When she wakes up, she finds the locusts have been eating her blood and they appear to be really enjoying it. That night, while outside walking, Virginie notices her colony is loud and buzzing. The locusts appear healthier than usual and are growing, shedding their old skins. The next day, Virginie checks on the locusts to find they are more active than she has ever seen them. Virginie suspects it's because they've eaten her blood and decides to offer up part of her arm for them to eat. The insects consume her flesh, tearing small chunks out and burying their pincers in her skin. Again that night, the locusts are up late and very active. The next day, it looks as if the locusts have bred and given birth to thousands of offspring. Virginie is very pleased and decides to scale up her production. She immediately begins construction on three new enclosures for more colonies. Her daughter, Laura, is not happy about this. In a previous discussion, Virginie told Laura that they could sell the farm and the equipment and leave with Gaston to start a new life elsewhere, away from the bullies at school. But now, the plans have changed and Virginie will not leave. Gaston introduces a few of the new, bloodthirsty locusts to his vivarium in his room. Soon, the new locusts begin to cannibalistically devour the other locusts in the tank. At night, Virginie works in the locust enclosure. She cuts her wrist and enters the plastic area where the locusts are kept. 
They descend on her quickly, covering her entire body and drinking her blood. Realizing that she can't keep feeding the locusts with her own blood, she comes up with an idea. The next day, Virginie orders 30 liters of blood over the phone and a refrigerated truck. The blood is delivered and she serves it to the locusts, which are violently thrashing around in their enclosures. Laura's friend comes to check in on her and accidentally reminds her that she isn't leaving town, which angers Laura. She grabs a utility knife and slashes one of the locust enclosures, allowing thousands of them to escape. The locusts turn on the family, dragging away their pet goat and nearly doing the same to Gaston. Virginie returns home to find her enclosures slashed. Gaston tells her that the goat has disappeared, and Virginie leaves to find out where their goat has gone. In a field, she finds the goat's half-eaten corpse covered in locusts. Not wanting to sadden Gaston, the mother says she couldn't find the goat and then drives Gaston around the town to look for it. But, of course, they don't go to the one place where the goat's body was previously found. Feeling bad about what happened, Virginie takes the kids to the beach. When they return home, Laura finds Kareem and a present there waiting for her. It's the scooter she's wanted for a while now, which her mom just bought for her. The next day, Virginie receives a call that all future blood orders will be suspended until she can prove she is licensed to receive blood. At that time, a new delivery of locust enclosures arrives for additional locust colonies. Feeling the pressure, Virginie puts an IV in her veins and drains her own blood into a five-gallon container. According to online blood donation fact sources, a healthy person can donate one pint of blood every 56 days. It takes hours for the body to replace the fluid within your bloodstream, but can take up to four weeks for it to replace the red blood cells, and eight weeks to restore the iron lost after donating. Kareem, the man who has been helping Virginie by giving her money for the last six months, comes to check on her. Virginie coldly brushes him off and tells him to leave. That night, the locusts are active and noisy again. Virginie hears a dog barking on the property and suspects it's Jackie, her nosy neighbor's dog. She finds little Jackie outside and feeds the dog to the locusts. While cleaning the dog's blood up the next morning, the duck guy and a colleague of his show up to buy locusts. The man has a large-scale farm and wants to buy a large number of locusts to feed his animals. Virginie takes the car at night to a local farm and slaughters their cattle, pulling out their insides to use as locust food. It takes hours, and the next morning, Virginie is exhausted and mentally fatigued. Laura takes Gaston into town to drop him off at the bus on behalf of her sleeping mom. Gaston is going away to a soccer camp for a while. When Laura returns home, she calls out to her mom and looks for her, finding only a bloody towel in her room. As Laura enters the locust enclosure, she finds Virginie willingly being eaten by the locusts. Laura freaks out and runs to hide in the bathroom. She texts Kareem to come over immediately, which he does. Kareem takes Laura and Virginie to his house so that he can make them dinner and watch a movie. As Kareem is questioning Laura about what happened, Virginie enters the room and intimidates Laura into silence. She then takes Laura and has Kareem drive them both back home. At Virginie's house, the neighbor who owns the dog is now looking for it. He enters the locust enclosure and discovers the dog's eaten body. He is then killed and eaten by the locusts. Kareem wants to find out more about the situation at the house. After dropping off Virginie and Laura, he enters the locust enclosure and finds the dead man and his dead dog. Virginie suspects Laura told on her, and she attacks Laura's door to get into her room. Outside, Kareem is fed up with Virginie's lies and her craziness, so he sets fire to all the locust enclosures. Virginie tries to stop the blaze, but discovers the locusts have all escaped. She hears Laura yelling and searches for her. Inside the house, Kareem is lying on the floor, covered in locusts who are eating him alive. Laura has run to the forest to escape her mom and the fire. Hundreds of thousands of locusts are in the air above her, searching for their next meal. Laura enters the lake and turns over the boat, then hides underneath it. The locusts descend on the boat like kamikaze bombers. 
Virginie finds the locusts attacking her daughter and cuts her wrist with a pocket knife. She then spreads the blood all over her face and enters the lake. The locusts, sensing an easier meal, attack Virginie. Thinking the locusts have disappeared, Laura leaves the safety of the boat and watches her mom being swarmed. The mom then dives underwater and the locusts, who cannot swim and will die in large quantities of liquid, enter the lake and drown. Virginie resurfaces and appears to be relatively okay. The two have a hug, and the movie ends. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more movies delivered straight to you. See you next time.